Hi, welcome back to my channel Azure Learn. My name is Nagendra Kumar Singhoti and today's topic is all about Azure Chaos Studio which is currently under preview. What is Azure Chaos Studio? It is an experimentation platform for improving application resiliency. You can subject your applications to real or simulated faults. Observe how your applications respond to real-time disruptions. You can integrate chaos experiments into any phase of quality validation. You are going to use same tools as Microsoft engineers to build resilience of cloud services. Aim is to increase the resiliency, being proactive, embracing the failure, and breaking the system to identify and address single points of failure early, you can minimize the blast radius and build immunity across applications and infrastructure. If you are thinking when to apply chaos while trying to deploy new piece of code or while trying to add some dependencies and in case if you are observing some changes in the usage patterns, these are all the scenarios where you can apply chaos. Overall method includes something like this. Start with a hypothesis, measure baseline behavior, inject a single fault or multiple faults altogether, monitor the resulting behavior, document the process and observations, identify and act on the result appropriately. You can even go beyond fault injection with reliability validation. You might have got a question in your mind, what are all the regions in which Azure Chaos Studio is available currently? When I checked into the portal, somewhere around these six regions it's showing which are under preview. In case if your thoughts went up to pricing, Currently, it's in preview, so there is no charge, it's free of cost. However, from April 4th onwards or so, it's going to be in pay-as-you-go mode, it's going to be available. Chaos engineering experiments will be charged based on the duration that your experiment actions run across each target or resource. This one, Microsoft is referring as per target action minute charge. You may have to note a point that running chaos experiments may involve additional charges for other services. Example, CPU utilization if it triggers auto scaling or so. What faults does it support currently? When I checked somewhere around 30 faults are available in the library, fault library, it's a continuously growing library and more are expected. Let's have a look at what Microsoft says about it. Outages. They happen. One minute all systems are humming along and then suddenly a critical app goes down. That can impact your users, your bottom line and your reputation. We all know that system failures have real world consequences and wreak havoc on everything from banking to retail, to healthcare. So anticipating and avoiding downtime is critical. So the question is not whether outages will occur, but how your systems will respond when they do. Are your critical applications resilient to disruptions? When a disruption occurs, can they remain available to users? Well, we're pretty sure that if our application fails in West US, all customer traffic will be rerouted to East US without impacting availability. We think, probably. But are you sure? Well, the thing is, we can't know until... It actually happens. And when it does, that can be... Chaos. Exactly. But what if you could control the chaos? Chaos engineering allows you to test your systems by breaking them on purpose to identify resilience problems. So what does this mean for you? Microsoft Azure Chaos Studio gives you the tools to understand 
and improve the resilience of your applications. It allows you to intentionally inject faults into your systems so you can see what failure scenarios your app can handle and which ones it can't. With those insights, you can make those apps more reliable and more resilient. Can your apps handle a high-stress, high-capacity scenario? What if network configuration changes break connectivity? Or what happens if a data center goes down? You'll be able to design and run experiments across a wide variety of scenarios using our ever-expanding fault library to test how your systems respond. Whether the issue is network latency, CPU pressure, or even an infrastructure outage, you'll find out how applications react to disruption and learn where to invest in a stronger and more resilient system. Chaos engineering can be implemented during late-stage development testing or to workloads already in production. So no matter where you are in the quality validation lifecycle, you can gain insights into a system's strengths and weaknesses. Curious to control chaos? Explore chaos engineering today by trying Azure Chaos Studio. Analyze your dependencies and risks, create hypotheses and scenarios, and execute experiments to see how systems handle disruption. Once you see how your apps respond, you'll learn something new and can apply that insight to increase the reliability of your applications. It's as simple as that. Microsoft Azure Chaos Studio. Now let's have a look at how to create a chaos experiment. Go to Azure portal, search for Chaos Studio and Chaos Studio cannot inject faults against a resource unless that resource has been onboarded to Chaos Studio first. So you have to onboard a resource to Chaos Studio by creating a target and capability on the resource. Here in this example Azure Cosmos DB I am taking. So you have to go to targets, select the appropriate resource and then enable the target for service direct faults and then for the capabilities. Azure Cosmos DB has got only one target type and then one capability. Other resources may have up to two targets and many capabilities. Okay, so when I say here service target, service direct target, one is agentless and the other one is agent based. Once you enable, you get the notification. After getting the notification, you move ahead to create an experiment. Click on experiments and then here all the list of experiments that are there would be visible. And click on add an experiment. Supply all the values related to resource group, subscription, name and location. Click on next to go to experiment designer. In the experiment designer, you would observe the steps and branches. Fill in the appropriate details. I would let I would explain you the flow in the next slide. Click on add faults. Even before adding the faults, let me explain you how Chaos Studio work. Steps would run sequentially. Branches would run parallelly. Fault details. Supply the details on which fault type you would like to select from the fault library. Set the configurations. Target resources. Select the one that is intended and you can click on review and create it. However, even before doing that, you need to assign the experiment identity to each resource that is targeted. So let's get on to the resource. And here it's the Azure Cosmos DB resource. And click on access control, that is AM, and click on add role assignment. Here we are going to assign Cosmos DB operator role and say next. Select members or group. Click on review and assign. Once it's done, you are now ready to run your experiment. 
okay so this is how it works and this is it for today give it a big thumbs up if you have found this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for upcoming videos thank you thanks once again to all the subscribers and then keep supporting me as always